so we can start our interview quickly first just tell me something about yourself just introduce because this is the first time i'm meeting you so just tell me something about yourself uh, so ma'am i'm lidika rahman as you know so mm -hmm. i am a student of grade 9 and currently living in bangladesh okay and basically um i have a wish to prosper in the field of astronomy so like Apart from my studies, I like to study in astronomy. And since I also like programming, I also practice the things related to it. And, and like, uh, apart from this, like in the future, like as I'm doing coding in bright times for two and a half years almost. Yeah. So I'm uh, just waiting to enroll for the robots and I'll learn the robotics as well. So mm -hmm. maybe in the next month, I will be starting on that. Very nice. It's very nice. It's very nice. So that is what you have planned for your next um, upcoming years, right? Yes. Very nice. Tell me which in which grade you are in. I'm in grade nine. That's very nice. Like you are in just grade nine, and you have like uh, already you have like what you have to you want to do and what path you are going to follow in your in your life. It's very nice. It's very nice. Good. Nice. Okay. So tell me, like, uh, what if I ask, what is your biggest achievement till today, according to you? Ma'am, yes, ma'am. Ma'am, my biggest achievement is like uh, the one I achieved in the NASA, and the second one is like a uh, few days ago, I also achieved another thing about like in the moon camp challenge. Usually, the European Space Agency they mm -hmm. arrange a moon camp challenge. So they're like me and my team basically made a moon habitat using the Tinker Cat. So we oh. just made a report on that, like how we can live on the moon. Then just really we nice. designed the habitat and it's now on the website of ESS. So it's a really big achievement. Like oh anyone can actually view it. That's very nice. That's very nice. Like you have like already you have a like that you have to do something in astronomy, right? Everything yes, related to astronaut, right? But so what are your plans? Are you going to do like aeronautical engineering or something like that? Uh, yes, ma'am. Like uh, I have a wish, like after I complete the college, I have a wish to, to take some kind of like higher education by taking scholarships in the like Harvard or Oxford. Like I have wished to Very study nice. there in the field of astrophysics mm -hmm. and take some like degrees from there in the level of astrophysics and astronomy. That's really nice. That's that's very nice. That's actually very good. And later, I have wished to like work in ESL or NASA. Work in? In NASA, yes. ESL, very like good. Space very scientists. good. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> if you you are in grade nine and you are talking like this, now I was like, oh my god, she is going to do something in her life. It's very nice. You know, I I love to talk such to such kids. You know, who are so like they. We can tell different people, you know, different kids that they will be get motivated from you, you know. You are such a motivation right now for all okay. of us. It's very good. Okay. And okay, tell me one thing. What you have, like during, if I ask during the journey in Bright Times, what you have learned here? Ma'am, basically like uh, I learned a lot of things. Mm -hmm. like, it's, it was a really great journey. When I started Bright Gems, before like I started Bright Gems, I thought like what is coding that how okay. how to do this? Like I thought it was really complicated, like uh, mm -hmm. the programming language and computer things. But like uh, after I enrolled and like I made some projects and learned it, like it it does seem that it's really easy and interesting. Like you can make the things using coding and like we always see the things from outside, but how it is like program inside and how it is just presented to other side from it like we play games mm -hmm. and like we just use the apps but how those are made we can actually learn it by coding so it was really interesting yes that is true that is true. and like the other things like the websites a person i like website making and like after I learned the web development, I made some websites by my own as well because uh, um, among all the things I learned, this web development was my favorite. Wow. That means Hunkable was your favorite. 
Yes, yeah, Yuri Ankara was my favorite, and like, uh, yeah. And also okay. the like electronics part that electronics I did. Electronics part. Mm -hmm. that that's how kids things, right? That was also my favorite. Okay, that's good. That's good. That means you can, I can say this thing today that coding is something that you started from zero and now you are a hero in it, right? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yeah, I can say that for you today, right? Nice. Uh, I guess I'm saying yes. this first time for a student. So, yeah, it's nice, right? Thank you, ma'am. Okay, so tell me, like, what was the most challenging thing while you are learning coding? Like, why while, while you are in your journey? And when you started coding, like, uh, in which grade? Ma'am, uh, in the end of grade six. End of grade, like, it's been already three like years, from, right? From the, like, after my final exams, yeah. Mm -hmm. Before, like, I started in Python, I just wanted to learn it using an app that is Mimo. So from there, actually, my journey started. Then after I entered grade 7, then I thought that I will take a course on it. So, like, I enrolled in Python. Very nice, very nice, very nice. So how do you feel? Is it a worth decision or what do you think about it after enrolling in Brightjams? Ma'am, it was really worth it because, like, uh, before I enrolled in Brightjams, I didn't know that much a thing about technology. Like, mm -hmm. after, it's not, like, only about coding. Like, I could know about some other things as well, like, about different things of mathematics and science and other things, too. So, overall, it was really good. Like, yeah, new is, kind of yeah. experience that I did. Yeah. You learn here maths, you learn here physics, you learn here science also sometimes, right? And coding is like, coding is like very much related to maths also, right? Yes. Okay, that's nice. Okay, I was expecting, uh, I was I was asking you that what was your most challenging parameter in your journey when you started coding? Ma'am, the first thing which was complicated was like, uh, when we do the coding, we get some like errors. Yeah. So like when I just wanted to deal with them, sometimes I face some um, problems like how I'm just doing the same thing, but it's not like working the way I'm working. <laughs> so it took hours and then like it was a lengthy and it was challenging also in the beginning, like how it will work. So then I discussed with my teacher, then I help take help from other sources and then like now I'm quite good in this, but still debugging is a challenging thing mm -hmm. because it's a lengthy and sometimes it doesn't work after yeah. after working for a long time. It's okay. This so happens. it this... was the most challenging thing for me. It bug thing works with every everyone. Everyone faces that, so it's it's normal. Okay, so what you did, you have yes, seen a lot of bugs, okay? You never gave up on it. You just keep on debugging and you learn different things, right? <laughs> Right? You didn't give up. Ma'am, can I just repeat because then it I am saying that when you got uh, bugs in yes, your codes, you have not give up in between, right? You keep on debugging and you keep on like working on it that I have to debug this code and I have to get what I exactly want, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. That's that is very good. Okay. And uh, okay, so okay. And uh, can you just tell me one more thing? Like, how did this bright terms like develop your personality? Like, what changes you have seen in yourself during the years? Ma'am, like, I think that by just coming to bright terms, I gained a uh, great quality in myself, which is like talking with the people around the world. Like, before mm -hmm. I was in bright terms, I didn't get that much scope, or I didn't even like I used to hesitate to people talk with the people who were from other countries but like after coming to bright sense like i could communicate with the people of different countries like far yes. on there like it is a great thing like it helped me to connect myself with the global community so it was really great hmm. okay that means you have developed your uh, confidence right now you feel more confident yes. yeah yeah, that, that's very nice. And before Bright Gems, you were introvert, but now you are a kind of extrovert, right? Yes, ma'am. 
Okay. So you must be participating in different uh, hackathon and global houses we used to like uh, do, like Bright Jumps used to do. I guess you are participating yes, in that I, also. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. I did. Okay. Okay. That's very nice. So you are getting many people from different, different countries there so that, you know, you can interact with them and they, then you can see the different, different ideas from different parts of world also. Yes, ma'am. That is also a very good opportunity. Actually, you know, whenever you go and do something on global level, even it is online, you know, you will see different people with different great ideas, right? And you have participated yes. at the NASA level of global hackathon. So you have seen or you have already seen a lot, right? Yes. Okay, that's nice. Okay. So tell me what is your, if you if I ask, what is your final thought? or advice you would like to share with others, uh, other kids that we have and who are going to enroll with us? Like to what you want to uh, say to your fellow students? Ma'am, I will say them that uh, if you're interested in coding, then you must learn it like sincerely. Like just learning it from like the basic things will not be fun. Okay. Mm -hmm. they, they should enroll here because in bright times, you the things are learned easily and also like in the deep manner, like in-depth knowledge are given here. So they can enroll it and know different of things and gain more experiences. Like since Bright Gems is an international, uh, it's on an international level. So they can also interact with others and like build up their communication skills. So that's another benefit for them. So like they can build a lot of skills here. So I will always, always prefer them to enroll. Yeah, that's 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 true. Actually, when you meet people from different countries, you learn their culture also, right? You know different. You used yes. to see different different accent also. Like you know, every country has different different accent as well. Yes. Okay, that's very nice. That's very nice. Okay, thank you so much, Lidika, for your time. I was like, I was waiting for this interview because I really want to interact with you and I want to con congratulate you. For your this 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 big achievement, you know, you have participated in NASA's global hackathon. That is a very big thing. When we say this word, when we say this NASA word, that word is a huge. And you have you have connected that NASA and global hackathon together. So it's a very big achievement, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Even bright times proud I'm of you right excited. now. Sorry, yeah. what? I was also excited to take the interview and talk with you. Yeah. Okay, that's very nice. So, how was it? You like it? Yes, ma'am. It was very good. Okay, Talking I really you, hope. Possible. I really hope you will achieve something more bigger in life, and I'll see you again in this interview, and then we are going to discuss about your plans again. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Do pray for me. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay, so okay, all the best for your future, Lidika. I hope I'll see you very soon again. Yeah, thank you, okay. ma'am. You're welcome. Yeah. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice month. Have a nice life. All the best for your head life. Bye-bye. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, ma'am. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.